I would not park here because uh, I've, I've always seen a lot of congestion, uh, a lot of traffic, and it's just bumper to bumper, and it's just not safe. Parking on campus is already difficult for students, but with the recent proposal to convert Parking Garage 4 into faculty and staff only, students' headaches would turn into nightmares. Uh, yeah, I come here every Tuesday, Thursday for class, but it's just, like, it, it's really hard to find spots. I have to come here at least, like, 25, 30 minutes before class even starts just to get, be able to get a good spot. UPD Lieutenant Anthony Rispoli told us that if Parking Garage 4 is converted to faculty and staff only, many of the current faculty only lots would be converted to general parking, which would open up more than 500 spaces for students around campus. It's more of a convenience problem. There are plenty of spots available in the music garage building. It's just people don't want to walk that far, but there is plenty of spots for every commuter student. Eventually they will build garages, but it's going to be like 20 years or so. I know when they get the parking passes, we always say don't park in this location. In a sense, it gets filled. Go somewhere else. And the only time I've ever seen this campus ever close to fill capacity is the first two weeks of class. Senate President Garrett Parsons told us that it costs roughly eight to nine million dollars to build one of these new garages and considering that FGCU can't build on nearly 80 percent of its protected land, Parsons believes that a social media campaign instructing students which garages generally have the most open spaces could be an effective solution. The FGCU Faculty Senate will meet next week to discuss the proposal of converting Parking Garage 4 into faculty and staff only.